has been making some pretty solid devices since a while now. I have thoroughly enjoyed using their last few phones. This time we are talking about the Nova 3. So let's see if it's good. Does it live up to the previous Huawei phones? Let's find out. When it comes to the build quality, I have been very open about this, that I like devices that look different. I'm bored of the traditional black and white color, and generally I demand a bit more for my devices. When it comes to the Nova 3, this phone completely fulfills my demand. It comes in red, gold, blue, and iris purple, and in my opinion, it looks the best in red. Unfortunately, the red one wasn't available for me, so I had to get the black one. Even though I'm not fully happy with the color, the build quality of this device is solid. The back is made up of glass and the sides are made of metal. I love the build quality in the P20 Pro and the Nova 3 continues that same awesome trendy design which is again really high quality and premium. Unfortunately the build of this device doesn't bring everything from the P20 Pro. There is no water resistance and the notch is bigger than most phones. But still considering the price of the phone I am willing to let those things go. Overall the build quality in this phone is great, it's high quality and it feels awesome in the hand. When it comes to the display, the Nova 3 is packing a 6.3 inches 1080p panel. For the most part, the display is great. Watching movies and TV isn't a problem and generally everything looks fine. The viewing angles are also really good. The thing is, phones that are slightly more expensive than this phone, like the Mi 8 or the OnePlus 6, those devices are packing an AMOLED display. It's a personal preference thing, but I do prefer AMOLED displays more than LCDs. I would have loved to see an AMOLED panel in this phone, but I'm still perfectly happy with the LCD. The nerd in me just demands the best of the best, and for me that's AMOLED. Maybe they will put an AMOLED display in the Nova 4, but right now don't let this cloud your judgement. The display on this phone is great and if you don't really care about AMOLED then you will be perfectly happy with the display. One of the highlights or the feature that I really enjoyed in this phone is the camera. It's a dual camera setup with a 24 megapixel monochrome lens and a 16 megapixel main camera. There's also a dual camera setup on the front with a 24 megapixel main lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. This is why the front notch is a bit bigger on this phone. When it comes to the performance of the camera, I'm really really happy. The quality of the photos is awesome. I think I have said it before but I'll say it again. The AI features that Huawei puts in its cameras are unparalleled. No other brand does the AI camera features as good as Huawei. Basically what happens is, when you take a photo, the camera automatically detects the object, then it applies the best settings for that specific object. In the end, this ends up taking some really good photos. So if you are looking for a camera phone, then do check out the camera capabilities of this phone. I had a blast using this phone. And the performance is the cherry on top. Even though the K970 is almost a one year old processor, it handles everything like a champ. There was a GPU update and because of that, everything feels smoother and snappier than even the P20 Pro. You can see how smooth and seamless the animations are in the launcher. Normally with every single phone, I don't really like the launcher. But if I had to pick one, I'd go with the launcher on this phone because it feels so smooth. All the games I threw at it ran very well, PUBG ran without any issues and this is one of the few phones that officially sports Fortnite. All in all, the performance in this phone is great and I'm really happy with it. There aren't really that many negative things in this phone. I do wish that this phone had a smaller notch and an AMOLED display. But still at the price, I'm really happy with the device. The build quality is awesome, the camera is top notch and the performance is great. So for the most part, I do really like the device and I wholeheartedly recommend it. <laughs>